This is the Honor 5X, one of the most highly anticipated budget phablets in the Indian market. It can now be yours for Rs 12,999. That's a significant increase in price from the Honor 4X, which was launched last year for Rs 10,499. Some might say the increase in price is justified though, owing to several reasons. The first is the build quality. The plastic construction of the 4X has given way to an all-metal body, complete with shiny trims and subtle curves. There's also a fingerprint sensor, a new staple in this price range, located at the rear. The display retains its 5.5 in size, but bumps up the resolution to Full HD and adds an AMOLED panel for good measure. Then there's the storage double from a paltry 8GB to a more respectable 16GB. From the face of it, the Honor 5X seems like an upgrade in more ways than one. But there are some caveats. Let's talk about them in our review. For a budget device, the Honor 5X looks very premium, all thanks to that metal build we mentioned earlier. Honor says it's used an aluminum alloy, but the quality of the metal isn't that great and is liable to get scratched easily. The port placement is quite standard, with the volume rocker and power button on the right, micro USB port, loudspeaker and microphone at the bottom, and 3.5mm headphone jack and secondary microphone on top. The left spine features two ejectable trays, one with a nano SIM and micro SD card slot and another with a micro SIM card slot. Overall, the build of the Honor 5X, while not the best quality, definitely gets a big thumbs up from us on design. The display's full HD resolution ensures a crisp pixel density of 401 ppi, while the AMOLED panel gives you deep blacks and rich colors that make any sort of media consumption a delight. Sunlight legibility is fine, and viewing angles and brightness are good too. The only downside to the display is the slow touch response. Minor actions like adjusting the brightness via the slider, tapping an app icon or even flicking up to clear recent apps all required a second tap on more than one occasion. Given that unresponsive touchscreens are a rarity these days, this is one area where the 5X takes a fall. The Honor 4X offered impressive camera quality for its price and the 5X follows suit. The smartphone features a 13 megapixel primary camera with f2.0 aperture and a 5 megapixel front camera with f2.2 aperture. The camera app is simple to navigate, offering a range of modes plus a selection of live filters. In terms of results, we got sharp macros with soft backgrounds and detailed landscaped images. The camera bumps up the ISO in low light to give you results that are usable but grainy but the LED flash can help. The selfie camera is capable of taking a decent shot only in natural lighting, with low light images appearing noisy and unusable. Our main qualm with the camera is not with the image quality, but the sluggishness of the camera app itself. The app takes a couple of seconds to load, and we even noticed a brief delay between pressing the shutter and capturing the image which often resulted in missed moments or blurry shots. We're attributing these delays to the heavy nature of EMUI and we hope they can be fixed with the software patch. Speaking of EMUI, the Honor 5X runs version 3.1 of the custom skin, which is based on Android 5.1 Lollipop. There's not much that's new about the interface. You get modified icons and fonts, the magazine unlock lock screen which displays dynamic backgrounds, an interface without an app drawer, and a theme store where you can download various themes and customize your device. A handy new addition is the SOS Emergency app, which when configured will send SMS alerts with a GPS link to your pre-selected contacts. In the settings menu, you'll find options to customize the layout of the Android navigation keys, and enable a one-handed mode, dual window mode, and various gestures. The fingerprint sensor, 
is one of the mainstays of the Honor 5X and was quick and efficient, giving us a success rate of around 90%. But that's not all. It can also perform some neat tricks once the screen is unlocked, just like the Honor 7's fingerprint scanner. You can use it as a back button, a shutter button, or even to answer an incoming call. You can slide up on the sensor to view recent apps and slide down to open the notification panel. You can even program it to open a pre-selected app when unlocking the phone with a particular finger. We love that Honor has added so much functionality to the fingerprint sensor. Although a word of warning. Using too many of the tricks at once can cause chaos when the sensor is inadvertently touched. Powering the Honor 5X is an octa-core Snapdragon 616 processor paired with 2GB of RAM. In China, the device is available in a 3GB RAM option as well, but in India we are only getting the firmware. Thanks to its gorgeous display and Adreno 405 GPU, gaming is a smooth experience, with more intensive titles like Dead Trigger 2 rendering the heavy graphics without any freezes or overheating. The daily usage though tells a different story. We use the smartphone for nearly two weeks as a primary driver and encountered sluggishness just about everywhere. You'll notice delays while opening apps, multitasking, swiping between the home screens or even unlocking the device. We also encountered freezes, app crashes and blank screens. We suspect this is due to poorly optimized software and bad RAM management and not the fault of the processor, in which case software updates might bring in a fix. In terms of the available storage, you get only 9.78 GB out of the 16 GB memory available out of the box. You can top up the storage by an additional 128 GB via microSD, but unfortunately USB OTG isn't supported. The 3000 mAh battery of the Honor 5X is one of its best features. With both SIM cards in use and 4G data enabled, we managed to eke out almost an entire day's worth of use and usually manage 3.5 hours of screen on time on most days. In our video loop battery drain test, the smartphone lasted 10 hours and 15 minutes, which is a good result. To sum up, the Honor 5X is a worthy upgrade to its predecessor. Having received a facelift in practically every department, including build, cameras, battery life, and new hardware like the fingerprint sensor. Our main gripe comes on the performance front, where the touchscreen lags and general sluggishness don't befit a device in its price range. The competition is stiff too, and includes the likes of the Lenovo K4 Note and Le Eco Le 1S. The latter among the two is particularly notable bringing in extras like 32GB of storage and 3GB of RAM, not to mention a lower price tag. Until Honor fixes the performance issues of the 5X with software updates, we are inclined to recommend the Lay 1S in this price range.